Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Crafty Bonker. In this video I will be showing you how to make these trinket dishes with marble effect. So let's get started. These are the two molds that I will be using. I have my gloves on. These are very important. I have already mixed my pigments in resin. The first pigment I am using today is platinum luster pigment powder. And the second one is the pearl white epoxy paste. In this rectangle one I will be doing two layers and the top layer would be the final layer. In this hexagon one I really can't do much because it's upside down. So let's hope it comes out nice. First I will start with the platinum to make random patterns to give a marble look. Now I will pour white to fill the molds. I am taking extra caution with the hexagon as the inside will be the top of the dish. Now I'm just blowing bubbles with the heat gun. Again, I'm making some more patterns with platinum. and filling it with a little bit more of white just blowing the bubbles again then I will let it cure for one day So guys, it has been 24 hours and they have dried, so I'm just gonna demold the hexagon first. It is still a bit soft because it takes 2 days to completely dry. I feel like it's too much platinum in here so I will do another coat just on the inside to give it a better look and I will use aluminium metal today to give that extra metal effect. I will start by pouring white and spread it around with the popsicle. Now I am spraying alcohol to get rid of the bubbles. Now I am going to make some patterns with platinum and aluminium. The aluminium metal I am using here will come on the surface when it's dried and it will look like real metal. I have used really little aluminium because I don't want too much on the surface.
gonna put more white in just blowing the bubbles again I am not really happy with how it is coming out I think it's getting dark because of the first layer so maybe I'm just gonna put more white in and then see how this goes I'm just going to create some more patterns with the platinum one. And I think I am happy now and I'm just going to leave it here. So guys, it's been a few days and they have cured completely. I love how this one has turned out. These little middle lines are amazing and that's just the back. I like the plain edges in these ones. And this is the other one. I really like how aluminum came on the surface and the crackle effect together gives it the perfect look. I will paint the edges in these with silver Posca paint pen. It's all done guys. I love how these two have turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.